What's up YouTube? This is Inventory King. Uh, coming at you guys with a short video on a little uh, water change tip. There's a lot of you out there who already know about this, uh, but there also may be a lot of you out there who don't know about this. Um, it's a little way to save a lot of time, and in my opinion, also some money. Uh, so without further ado, let me show you guys exactly what I am talking about. So as you guys can see, I bought a submergible pump. This pump is rated for 1,000 gallons per hour, and what it's going to do is allow me to take water out of this tank much faster than the Python. And in my opinion, it's also going to help me save a little bit of money. Um, in, the, in the description below, you will see that I have a link to where you can find this on Amazon. Take a look at it. Uh, it was like 40 some bucks, but in the long run, it's going to make a huge difference. So um, let me show you exactly how I hook it up. Okay, so as you guys can see, um, here's the pump itself. Um, it's got a long cord, so you got you know room to work with. So here is the Python hose. This is what you hook onto the adapter that hooks up to the sink. So what I like to do here, instead of getting a garden hose or anything, since you're using this already, uh, what I like to do is you just come down here and you unscrew the coupling, pull it off. This, with this attachment, this pump came with multiple attachments, and this happens to fit perfectly. It goes right on like this, and this doesn't screw in, but I just push it in there like that, so it's nice and tight. So now this will go into the tank, and then when I plug it in, it's gonna push water out of the tank, through the hose, into the uh, sink. Okay, so I showed you guys how I hook it up to the pump, and um, I mean, honestly, it is as easy as sticking it right inside. And then I just adjust like this, the fish are freaking out. But uh, you know, let's say I wanna get, by the time it reaches to around here, we're looking at around 50% or so. Uh, so I'll put it right around here and then plug it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. Nice and easy, water's flowing through here now. I can hear it going into the sink. Um, and then now that I'm getting, you know, getting all the detritus out of the water, all I have to do once I, you know, get it all out and I let it run for about a minute to get all the water out of the, the hose, all I got to do is set the temperature and turn the python on. And we are set and ready to roll. And we are going to get fresh water into uh, the tank. So as you guys can see, I got it all set up to uh, start pumping back into the tank. So I think that covers it, YouTube. Uh, I picked this up again uh, on Amazon. It was like 40 some bucks. Uh, helps make the water changes much faster. I mean, at a thousand gallons per hour, you're doing a hundred gallons. You know, you're taking 10 minutes to pull a hundred gallons of water out on average. Um, if you do the math. So anyway, uh, just a little tip. Uh, again, I know there's a lot of you out there that are gonna know about this tip and then there's gonna be a lot of you who don't know about it. So the reason why earlier I mentioned that I think it saves money is because when you're using like a Python or an Aquion, uh, I use a Python here at home. Uh, when you turn your water on to create the suction, you're using your water you know, your city water, your well water, whatever it is. If you're on well water, this doesn't really fit for you, but if you're on city water, then obviously it does because, um, you know, you're being metered by the city. Um, when you're creating your suction and the water is going uh, out, there's all that water that you're using at the moment to create the suction. Now, after the suction, I'm not 100% sure, but I still feel that you're using water from your tap uh, that's create, helping still create that suction. Uh, and to me, you're just throwing money down the drain. I was thinking about that. So I was like, why not invest in the pump? It'll pay for itself over time. Uh, and then all you're doing is you're adding water back in so you're not wasting extra water. So 
Anyway, that's kind of the way I look at it, so that's why I went for it. I'm happy I did and make some big water changes easier, faster, uh, less of a headache. So uh, let me know down below if you use this method already. Let me know if you don't use this method, what you guys think. Uh, and uh, like, share, subscribe, stay tanked.